Welcome everyone, on YouTube there are two types of downrated tourists, so the first one is it will boot loop most devices unless you are lucky, A or B, a YouTuber, and the second tutorial is a fully working downrated tutorial, you won't lose your data but it takes half an hour, 40 minutes, maybe an hour just to do because you have to modify the backup, you have to do this, it takes forever, however I'm going to show you the third method to downgrade from iOS 14 back to 13 without losing data. It's the first method, but this time you won't have the boot loop issue. So I figured it out why the boot loop happens, and I'm going to show you how to avoid the boot loop and downgrade your device. So first of all, here's the issue. iOS 14 widgets will break the downgrade process because when you're downgrading, it, you know, it keeps all your data and essentially these widgets right here are going to screw everything over. So, if you have any iOS 14 widgets on your device, you just need to remove them off of your home screen. So, we're just going to do that, and just like that as well. Also, if you have any applications in the app library, which are not on the home screen, you have to move all, app, all, all these apps back onto the home screen. So, let's say the app store wasn't here, I would just long press, and I'd move it to the home screen, just like that next if you have the back tab enabled which is iphone uh, 8 or newer uh, devices you need to turn that off um you probably know how to turn it off if you turned it on because it's not uh, turned on by default also if you have any privacy settings where you give your approximate location you have to set it to either you know give the location all the time or turn that one off entirely once you've done all of these steps, now you'll be able to downgrade iOS 14 back to iOS 13 without losing data. Now, I'm going to brush over the process because um, I don't need to make a 20 minute tutorial on how to downgrade. You kind of need to know a bit of what you're doing. If, you have, if you're struggling to follow this, then I'll have a more in-depth video in the description. That tutorial is from my main channel and it doesn't show the tricks um, that I just did. To avoid the boot loop which is why you might look in the comments and you'll see some people have the boot loop issue but if you do all these things that i just showed in this video you will not get a boot loop i've tested this and it is confirmed working 100 percent right so um quick tutorial just go to ipsw.me right it'll be in the description then you find your device so we have an iphone 7 and you can see sometimes we have gsm and global if you're on us select gsm anywhere else global so iPhone 7, um, no, I'd have a 7 Plus. iPhone um, 7 Global, we'll click on that. And you can see right here, listen to this one, I'll repeat it twice. Signed IPSWs. If you see 13.7 in the signed IPSWs area, you'll be able to download it and you'll be able to downgrade. If it is in the unsigned IPSWs area, you will not be able to download it. So just one more time for the people with the selective hearing and wine in the comment section. If iOS 13.7 isn't in the signed IPSW section, that means you will not be able to install it on your device. You'll get an iTunes error. So just one more time for the people with the extremely selective hearing. If iOS 13.7 is not in the signed IPSW section, it will not work, right? Now you might be like, well, if iOS 13.7 gets unsigned, how come, how, how can I get a signed IPSW? Well, the signing isn't done locally the signing is done on apple servers so if apple servers say the ios 13.7 isn't signed whether or not you install the ipsw when 13.7 shows is signed one signed it will not install so if ios 13.7 isn't available here you cannot downgrade anymore you just can't downgrade anymore you're gonna have to accept ios 14 and if you can't accept ios 14 as your child maybe your dad because you might be um uh, younger than uh, 14 years old then what you're gonna have to do is just accept that you messed up your updated now you can't downgrade not my fault anyway um once you've um we've established 13.7 in science we'll click on it download save now you can see right here the download will start now um i'm actually not going to do the downgrade process in this video but just watch my other long one if you need to see that i mean it's self-explanatory Remember, we're talking about Apple here, and if you look at the Apple support page, you can tell there are a ton of idiots who use Apple products. 
And I'm not saying that you're an idiot. I'm saying that there are idiots, right, who use Apple products, right, and one of them is uh, me. And so, um, you'll see this down the wall do its thing, wait for it to finish, and once it's done, open up Finder or iTunes, I mean, I was about to say something else, but I know, and just go to the iPhone section right here, um, there's a bunch of ways to find it, locations, or like the top, there'll be an iPhone logo, and what we want to do is if you have Mac, hold Option, or the Alt key, and then uh, click um, where you see check for update and you'll see the uh this box or if you're on windows hold down shift then uh click um the trackpad or the mouse or the um dildo <laughs> um and then you'll be brought to here now just find that ipsw you just downloaded so let's just say like this and then you open it and it will say you um it will say do you want to update to 13.7 even though it's a downgrade it will say yes and then your device will downgrade, no boot loop. So, if you want the uh, longer video, because I, I want to make this short and sweet, because I think you guys are smart, and if you're not smart, then um, tough. Um, ma uh, make sure you do uh, um, check out that video in the description. Also, if this helps you out, because it will, it's not if it helps you out, is when it helps you out. Make sure you smash a like, subscribe if you're brand new, for the latest content, because I never disappoint, excluding two days ago. I'll see you guys later.